Hello everyone. Today we bring with Merchant of Venice Act 1, Scene 1. Scene 1 I have divided into three equal parts to make it a little easier for you all. So, part 1. For the brief we see, Antonio, the merchant, is sad. His sadness is strange because he himself is not aware about the reason for it. His friends suggest various causes for his anxiety, trying to cheer him up. The actors on stage are Antonio, Salarino, and Salanio. Antonio, truly, I do not know why I am so sad. It causes tiniest boredom to me. But how I got it, came across it, what is it made up of, why is it so like this, I do not know. I seem so much of an idiot because of this sadness that I am in trouble to know my own self. Salarino, you are caught up in the ocean, there where your merchant ships all burden sail, as the gentlemen and rich citizens of sea, or as decorated carts in carnival processions, looking to the heads of small ships with low mast sailing up and down to show respect as they pass by it with wooden covered. Salanio, trust me, if I had such business abroad, more than half of my concerns will be with my things. I should always be holding up blade of the grass to see in which direction the wind blows. Curiously, looking in maps for harpers, supports in sea and roads and every object giving me terror of destruction to my business enterprise without a doubt will make me sad. Salarino, my own breath which cools my soup would cause me shivering to think of the harm of a strong wind at sea. I won't look at the hourglass, rather would think of shallow waters and sandbanks and my wealthy big cargo ship collided ashore. However, lowering her mast, lower than its own wooden sides. To pray for such mishappening, should I go to the church and glance at the large holy statue of stone, will immediately draw my attention to dangerous rocks which merely by touching my ship and container's side would throw out all her items onto the sea covering or clothing the swirling water with pieces and materials very valuable. Briefly, just a moment ago, the cargo was so valuable, but now nothing. If I had this imagination to think about, or such a thing even by chance can happen, it will make me sad. Don't try to lie with me. I know Antonio is sad, to think all of this. Antonio, trust me, it is not so. I am thankful my luck and wealth for all this. My business is not toasted on merrily one ship, not even to a single place. Also, not my finance as whole depends on the chance of this single year. Therefore, my business does not make me sad. Selanio, so then maybe you're in love, Antonio. Ah, nonsense, nonsense. Salarino, also not in love? Then we are to believe you are sad because you aren't happy. And it is equally as easy for you to laugh, be happy, say you're happy because you aren't sad. As by the two-faced Roman god Janus frowning and smiling at the same time. Nature has created strange men in its time, some having wrinkles making their eyes peep through the face, others who will laugh like parrots even at bagpipes making noise, and many having so sour expression that they won't show teeth and never smile, as the gentle Nestor who wouldn't laugh at the joke, but if he laughs, it must be really funny. This was about part one that I have decided. 
Now part 2 will come to you where Bassanio, Lorenzo and Graciano enters the scene. Very important lines of part 1 as we studies is where we see the wind cooling my broth. It's Saladino who gives these lines and the three examples about the edifice, the ship being called Andrew and his own bread that cools the soup. These are very important lines in the scene and are often asked. I would like to have your attention as you go through them. So girls and boys, this was all about the video. Thank you. Like, comment and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.